Singapore General Hospital is Singapore's flagship tertiary hospital. Together with the five national specialty centres, the SGH campus has the largest concentration of healthcare services. Having a very big campus with very diverse and comprehensive uh, clinical specialties allow us to answer and solve many of the clinical issues for our patients, their family and also for our staff. We want to ensure that the patient's journey through the campus is a seamless one. In that sense, we want to create an environment of a one campus. It's very beneficial for our patients because they're able to obtain all the medical treatment and follow-ups within the campus. What it also means for the patient and the doctors is that all the medical records and the results are accessible and that will make it easy for follow-up. Medicine is complicated and not everybody would know and understand the full spectrum of clinical work. Clinicians and also including nurses and allied health need to come together to tackle very complicated uh, clinical problems. At SGH campus, teamwork and professionalism is of utmost importance for the care of our patients. We have uh, multidisciplinary teams that can work together and synergize to produce the best results for our patients. With the way how modern medicine is conducted, IT allows us to connect people, to be on the same page, helps to send information in a very rapid way so that people are always able to find each other's data so that the patient care can be improved uh, tremendously. We also uh, employ newer techniques of treatment and this include the latest uh, robotic surgeries. This allows us to equip our surgeons and our physicians the latest gadgets and devices and equipment for them to be able to tackle uh, very complicated clinical problems and this has been useful for us to be comparable to world-class centres in other parts of the world. I believe research is one of the key pillars of SGH. I always say that in order to be a good researcher, it helps if you are first a good clinician. Because the motivation for us to do research is always to improve care for our patients. So one of the key features of our work here at the SGH campus is we place a lot of emphasis on being up to date, both in our clinical science as well as in the research that we do. One of the things that I was involved in is a project called the Autopulse. That is actually a mechanical chest compression device. Now the problem with traditional CPR is that you know, it's dependent on the provider. With a machine, it never gets tired. It always delivers very consistent compressions. You can be assured of the quality of CPR that is ongoing. Since then, I think for the last five years, it has become part of our standard practice uh, in the emergency department in Singapore to use this uh, mechanical device. Our project began in 2005 when a group of us started noticing these strange and unusual fractures in patients that had been on treatment for osteoporosis for a few years. After the paper was uh, published, we went on to do more work on the topic itself and uh, one of our works has been recognised and actually obtained an award at the major European uh, 
uh, trauma meeting in 2010. The FDA convened a panel um, looking into this particular type of fractures and has since then gone on to issue a series of guidelines regarding how long we should treat patients with osteoporosis and signs to look out for um, to prevent this fracture from happening. Right now, we are also in a collaborative clinical trial. My colleagues in the United States actually approached us to do a collaborative trial in the minimally invasive treatment of tennis elbow. And during our negotiations, uh, we are in the process of even making SGH the Asian a centre for this procedure for us to train other centres, really making us a centre of excellence for them. More than a decade ago, leukaemia was considered as a death sentence by many, but advances in medical research over the past five to ten years have improved the survival of patients significantly. But we know that more needs to be done and more can be done so the focus of our research is to use new novel treatment strategies for leukemia treatment and also to understand why patients develop resistance to certain chemotherapeutic drugs. There was evidence that one of the most important reasons for resistance is mutations in the leukemia protein. Mutation analysis was not available in Singapore or in fact the region at the time. So I managed to obtain a grant from the Department of Clinical Research in SGH and we embarked on this project. In the space of two years, we screened over 100 leukemia patients with drug resistance and detected mutations in 43 patients. And as we were the only centre in the region to have this test available, we had many patients coming from Malaysia, India and even China for, for this test. So in the SGH campus where we have many aspects of practice, clinical practice, teaching and research, there are mentors all over the place. I've always had good mentors and my mentors before me had good mentors as well. And these relationships are important because to somebody who's just starting out in a medical career in a very busy campus, a very complex campus like this, they need somebody who can show them the ropes of how to survive on a daily basis. I think we have a very unique program here in, in the SGH campus. Uh, the reason is number one, we have a wide variety of um, patients, you know, from the simplest and common to the most complex. And uh, the other thing that I find really unique is if you look at um, the educators, the, the people who are teaching medical students and residents now in SGH campus, these people had in fact trained in SGH campus and the fact that they remain to uh, teach in the institution that they train in, I think speaks a lot about what the institution means to us. We teach a variety of different students, so ranging from the medical students from the, the different medical schools, Young Luling School of Medicine, as well as the Dukes and US. Uh, we also teach nurses and nursing students. Uh, in addition to that, we teach postgraduates, you know, from uh, the junior doctors all the way to advanced trainees like the registrars. SGX Campus is the first one to use simulation training to train doctors and nurses to work as a team for emergency situations. The importance of team-based training is because in the real life, doctors and nurses work together and not in isolation. We always encourage our staff to go beyond working in the wards or in our outpatient clinics for them to go out to the community and then help the senior citizens uh, is a very meaningful event. And this uh, utilizes actually our nurses' skills, our uh, occupational therapy skills, also organizational skills where we can uh, provide some sense of relief, comfort, and also actually we teach our senior citizens how to live a good life. A lot of collaboration and cooperation for the One Campus Vision has been ongoing. We have uh, numerous successes and we hope to build on the successes for people to understand that by doing so as One Campus, uh, we would actually make the journey for patients, for all our staff, a much more fulfilling, more exciting and a more eventful one.